Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you guys know, I'm James. Um, and guys, in this video, I wanna go into live market examples of trend change in movement or directional change in movement. Um, I've done other videos in the past where I've been highlighting to you how to spot the change in direction, but there was a lot of comments asking for live examples of this. So I'm gonna run over two examples from the market changing from higher highs to higher lows. Um, and also just do that in basically two markets just to share with you higher highs to higher lows into lower highs and lower lows so you guys can get a feel of how it looks in a live market. Um, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to this video and share it with your friends as well to help us continue to keep growing and provide you guys with more content. So let's get into it. Um, what we can see here, guys, is we're currently on NZDUSD. Uh, we're on the one hour time frame. That's the time frame we're going to be using. Now, just quickly give you guys a recap of what I mean by trend change in movement. It's when the market breaks out from the higher highs and the higher lows and starts to form lower highs and lower lows like this. Now, a lot of people try and catch the market when it's in this peak right here. But how do you know it? that peak is the peak and that is the ready to take the move? You could have took the trade here to the downside. You could have took the trade here to the downside. Could have took the trade here to the downside before actually having the successful trade up here to the downside. So to avoid that, what I teach my students and members to do is just wait for the structure to be broken and voided and then look to take your trading opportunity. So it's just really just about being patient, taking less losses and waiting for the market to change direction. So that being said, let's just take a look right now um, at this example here within NZD USD. So let's just zoom in because of what I want to cover is I want to cover obviously the first initial structure of the market. So the market here guys formed a double bottom in, in some aspects, maybe on the lower time frames. The market then pushed to the upside, uh, forming this higher high point above this little lower high point right here. Okay, the market from there then came back to the downside, formed a new higher low point where the market from there Pushed to the upside and formed this higher high point right here. From that higher high point, the market formed a higher low point right here. So this right now, guys, is clearly ascending directional movement. Now, once the market then pushed to the upside, and this was due to news base, the market pushed into this high point up here at around 1, uh, 0.65840, 0.65800. Once the market pushed into this region up here, we do obviously have this key area looking left where the market did react with. But what is most important to take note of here is when the market is ready to then take a shift in direction. So how did we see this happen? Well, we saw this lower low form. Why is this a lower low? This is a lower low because price broke the previous higher low. If price breaks out of a higher low, it creates a lower low in the market. And what happens after that? Uh, hot lower low gets formed, the market forms what we call the lower high point. Now this lower high point can be seen because we have this shooting star characteristic candle showing selling pressure followed by indecision. Now if you did miss the trading opportunity here to the downside, it doesn't matter because all you need to do is remain patient. Following on from this, the market then pushed to the downside and what did the market do to this lower low right here? The market broke through this lower low and formed a new lower low in the market. After that new lower low, what did we see price do? Price pulled back into the area of previous lower low to form the new lower high point. This new lower high point, as we can see, shows a nice bearish pin bar characteristic candle showing the selling pressure to the downside. That shows us that the market's looking to form a new lower high at this point. And it could have been at this point right here, guys, that you could have been looking for your entry. You didn't need to take one short position here and get stopped out, one short position here, get stopped out, one short position here, success. You could have waited for this entry right here or you could have waited for this entry right here. Now, my aim as a trader is always to protect my capital. 
Okay, so I wanna be taking trades in the direction of the market structure. If the market structure right here is forming higher highs and higher lows, I don't wanna be taking short positions because it's just not logical. I wanna be taking short positions once the market shifts in the structure to the downside. And that's exactly what I've covered with you right there. Now to take a look at another example, which is right here guys on AUD USD, a very similar market to NZD USD. Um, but we can see another great example right here. So just down here, we see the market form a low point, okay? We take this downside bearish move. From this low point, the market pushes to the upside and technically forms a lower high in the market. After this lower high, the market fails to continue to the downside to break this low point here to form a new lower low in the market. The market stalls and forms a higher low. This higher low only becomes a higher low once the market breaches this higher, this lower high point right here, which is what we saw happen when the market broke through here so we saw the market push to the upside broke through this area of lower high confirming that the market had now formed the higher high point following on from there what did the market do just tracking the structure of the market we had a higher high we then had this higher low point we then had a new higher high up here we then had a new higher low point right here and just continuing to track the structure of the market very similar to nzd uh, nzd usd we saw the market Break, we saw the market come up into this high point up here of 0 0.70250, 0 0.70200. Okay, very, very similar structure shift is what we're seeing. So just to clean it up a little bit for you guys, just so we can really see what is happening, let's just remove these areas right here. And we're going to focus now on the shift in the structure. So we had this high point up here, as I've just mentioned to you. Now from this high point up here and this higher low point right here, once the market broke through this higher low point, what do we have in the market? You should know this from what we just went over previously a second ago. Okay, the market formed a lower low in the market. So the market right here formed a lower low. So we can take into consideration this is a lower low. We're then looking for the market to form a lower high point. So when we're looking for the lower high point, if we drag this across here, guys, we can see this higher low got broken for a lower low retested for a lower high the market showed indecisive slash selling pressure uh, price action and then following on from this price action where did the market go well the market broke through this lower low the market formed a new lower low so once the market formed this new lower low what would we be looking for to happen we would be looking for a potential new lower high point to be able to take a shorten opportunity now as you guys know i'm always looking for the market to come back into an area of structure point what happened right here? The market came back into an area of structure point and showed a very similar characteristic candle as what we saw previously. Nice selling pressure, showing the sellers are taking control. And overall here, guys, we see the market in a downwards direction. So the market then starts to take over in a descending direction, as we can see. You could have entered the market here once the shift of structure. You could have entered the market here once the market continued with the structure. You did not need to keep taking short position here, short position here, and short position here until you had the successful trade. It was not needed. But this again just comes down to being patient in the market. Okay, this is just patience. A lot of people struggle with the patience. They always wanna be in a trade and opportunity. And because they always wanna be in a trade and opportunity, they struggle with the patience. Whereas if you just wait for the market to shift in structure, break through the higher low, form the lower low, it's still not ready until you see the lower high. If you miss this opportunity here, wait for the continuation, wait for the pullback, then look for your trade and opportunity. And it's the patient people that take money from the impatient people in the market. That is something that I stand by. Okay, so it's just really understanding the structure of the market and the flow of the market and the change in direction. It's harder to obviously spot it in a live market example, but it is really exactly like what I have drawn out for you guys in the past, where the market breaches through this higher low point, forms a lower high point, and then continues off to the downside. And that is exactly what I have covered in this area right here. This right here is the drawing version. This right here is the live market example. It's not always gonna be pinpoint. It's not always gonna be exact because it would be too easy, okay? And the market don't wanna make it easy for you. So you always need to just dig deeper into the structure and really just understand what is happening in the market and look for that shift in the structure direction. 
okay? So, guys, I really do hope that this has given you a bit more of an in-depth um, explanation into the structure shift that I look for in the market. I do everything based on the market structure, okay? I live by it, I trade by it. So, I hope that this has given you a deeper insight. Don't forget, guys, to give us a like, subscribe to our videos, um, leave a comment below of other videos that you would like to see us put out there because this was a comment that we had, people asking to see a live market example of this, and that is exactly what we have produced. So, guys, I do hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to catching up with you guys in another video.